In the circuit below this one, with two real diodes D1 and D2, specified by the 0.7 volt knee and 17 ohm forward dynamic resistance, three nodes on the reference have been identified B, C, and D. E. And this is their reference node, the so called uh, ground. Assume that D1 is off, this one is off, and that D2 is on, this one is on. And uh, using the best available real diode model, compute the voltages VB, this one, VC, and VE. If you determine that D1 is not off, say why. If you determine that D1 is off, say why. If you determine that D2 is not on, say why. And if you determine that D2 is on indeed, say why. Well, the first thing is replacing the diodes by their models. D1 is supposed to be open, so we just delete it. Like so. And D2 we replace by its model. That is the circuit we need to solve. We use M and A and we solve that for the control current IP. That is a CTL equation. Now a KCL equation for each one of the other nodes. Actually for B and for E. From there, we copy directly VB, 2.5. Well, for the sake of the exam, let me write 2.498. That is an exaggeration, but let's write it. VE is 1.8, 1.798. How about the VC? And the voltage here is 12 volts minus this drop. And that drop is a drop produced there by 50 times IB. And IB is a current that we know. 1.2, 10 to the negative 5. That is 11.8 microamps. Well, 11.8 microamps times 50 multiplied by 7, so we say. Now let's test to see if uh, this diode, this one, is really on. You know that the on test for a diode is a current test. So we say D2 is on because its current is positive. It is flowing from anode to cathode. To check the voltage to see if a diode is on is wrong as was said in class. D1, we will check its voltage. And the voltage in the diode D1 is negative 6 volts, which is less than 0 0.7 volts. That is the reason why D1 is off. Its voltage is less than 0 0.7 volts. Thank you very much.